Okay. Proceed. Continue. Look, continuing. Um, looking at the SBA requirements. Procedures for reporting and submitting the school-based assessment. Teachers are required to record the mark awarded to each candidate under the appropriate profile dimensions in the mark sheet provided by CXC. The completed mark sheets should be submitted to the CXC no later than April 30 of the year of the examination. Note. The school is advised to keep a copy of the project of each student as well as copies of the mark sheets. Teachers will be required to submit to CXC copies of the projects of a sample of candidates as indicated by CXC. The sample will be remarked by CXC for moderation purposes. Moderation of school Base assessment. The candidate's performance on the project will be monitored. The standard and range of marks awarded by the teacher will be adjusted where appropriate. Standard and range of marks awarded by the teacher will be adjusted where appropriate. Also, CXC will do that. However, the rank order assigned by the teacher will be adjusted only in special circumstances and then only after consideration of the data provided by the sample of marked projects submitted by the teacher and remarked by CXC. Rank order will be adjusted only in special circumstances and then only after consideration of the data provided by the sample projects. Okay. I guess that means if there is significant difference between the teacher's mark and CXC mark, they might rank them, re-rank re them in terms of what does that really mean. I believe reorder the grades in terms of pass fail or percentages well let's see paper 032 this paper consists of two questions well that's for private candidates based on topics from any section of, or combination of different sections of the syllabus duration of the paper is one hour all questions are compulsory and require an extended response the paper carries a total of 20 marks okay marks will be awarded for knowledge comprehension and reasoning as follows knowledge the records of rules procedures definition and facts simple cal computations comprehension algorithmic thinking use of algorithms and the appro application of algorithms to problem situations and reasoning translation of non-routine problems into mathematical symbols making inferences and generations from given data analyzing and synthesizing okay all right 